Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I have missed you all so much you don't even understand and I really appreciate those of you who like follow me on social media or you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you've reached out to me like girl what's going on like where have you been that really touches my heart that means you guys miss me as much as I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, but I really appreciate that, you guys, and thanks for rocking with me throughout this whole break. I really want to do a get ready with me video and just like update you guys on what's been going on. Let me know if you're interested in that because I know a lot of you have been asking like what makeup products I use and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'd like to see. Now, for today's video, you guys have been on my head, okay, about making this video. Flyer to Nipe. You guys all want to know about it, and I totally get it. It's such a main component of being a flight attendant, and you want to know if it's worth it, like how much you're going to make, and I totally get it. And I've been putting it off because it's been so complicated to explain. This is actually my second time filming this video because the first time I tried to do this video, it got way too complicated, and I was like, oh, they're not going to understand any of this. So. I'm doing it over and I'm gonna break it down even more and I'm gonna try to be very simple and very basic with what I'm telling you okay so without further ado let's get into it <laughs> okay first things first let's talk about what flight attendant pay is made up of so you have your hourly rates okay which is your base pay okay which is the main component of your pay. That is the hours that you are actually flying, okay? So that is your base pay. And I believe right now it starts off at $28.89 for flight attendants who are just coming on the line. Actually, I'm gonna put up a chart of um, the base pay as far as uh, years of service okay so that you guys can get kind of an example of how your pay fluctuates now you get a pay raise every year on your anniversary my anniversary is March 9th that's the day I started training and that's the day that I get um, a pay raise okay so you get a pay raise every year and for the first few years um, it's like a dollar dollar ish it, it I don't think there's like a a system of how much you get paid I think there's just a number I don't think you get a huge pay raise until five years of service I think that's when you see like the most difference in um, your pay and then you get capped out at 12 years with Delta everything that I'm saying right now is um, for Delta because I'm not sure about other companies because I know you guys will hit me up in the comments like what about American and I'm like I don't know how to work for American <laughs> okay so as far as Delta goes we get capped out at 12 years and right now our 12 year pay is $64.96 okay and some people get a little worried like okay well after 12 years what's gonna happen I'm just not gonna make any more money we get pay raises very often like I think we're getting a pay raise at the end of this year so that number is gonna get higher so even though you're gonna be capped out you still will get pay raises within the company that's going to push you up more and more so you're never just gonna be stuck at your capped out rate okay so I just want to clear that up right now because I know some people are like okay well at 12 years that's it like there's nothing to look forward to that's not true because you will get additional pay raises when the company decides okay it's time to pay flight attendants for money which is always nice <laughs> okay so another very important component of our flight attendant pay is time away from base and we get per diem for every hour we spend away from base okay so let's say just for an example we are gone for 28 hours we are going to multiply that by what we get paid um, for time away from base which is right now currently two dollars and forty five cents so you multiply 28 times 245 and that's how much per diem you're getting for that trip okay I'm trying to make this as simple as possible so I hope you guys understand that so time away from base 
plus your um, flight attendant pay for that trip is what's gonna give you your um, trip amount. Basically how much you're getting paid for that trip, okay? Okay, so we've talked about flight pay or base pay or hourly pay, whichever you like to call it. We've talked about time away from base. Those two right there are gonna make up majority of your flight attendant pay. But there's also more ways to make money. We call it premium pay. So you can fly flight leader, which right now our rate for flight leader is 350 an hour. So that's 350 on top of the 2889 that you are making for your base pay. Okay? There's also international, which is right now two dollars and five cents, okay, an hour on top of your base pay. And we also have something called LOD, which um, stands for Language of Destination Flight Attendant. So you can test into this program if you speak a second language or a third language. Um, and you will get paid a premium on top of your base pay to speak the language of destination. So let's say we're going to Mexico and we need a Spanish speaker. If you're a Spanish speaker and you're qualified as an LOD, you will get an additional $225 for that trip because we are going to need you to translate in Spanish. Okay, so those are way, those are more ways for you to make extra income. Okay, so now let's talk about how frequently we get paid. With Delta, we get paid on the 15th and the last day of every month, okay? So the way it works is we get 50% of what we worked the month prior each paycheck, okay? Have I lost you guys yet? <laughs> so let's say I worked 100 hours in July. Okay, I am going to multiply 100 times 2889, which is my base pay, which gives me 2889. Okay, so in order to know how much I'm going to get in each paycheck, I'm going to divide that by two. So 2889 divided by two is 1444 and 50 cents. So I'm going to get 1400. 44.50 cents on the 15th and I'm gonna get 1444.50 on the last day of the month. So it's split in half, okay? But it's from the month ahead of time, all right? So whatever I worked in July, that's what I'm gonna get paid for in August, all right? You guys with me? All right. <laughs> okay, now that example was just base pay alone. We didn't add per diem, we didn't add premium pay for flying lead or international or LOD. Those are things that can be added to make more money, okay? So the good thing about this job is you are never stuck with just doing one thing or flying one position or going one place. And it's great because if you want to make more money, you are more than capable of making more money. You can fly as many hours as you want. I know flight attendants who fly 135 hours, 175 hours, and they're making bank. I'm not one of them, but if you need that money, honey, you can get it. Okay, so that's a good thing about being a flight attendant. It's very flexible. You can fly as much as you want, and you can make really as much money as you want. It's really great. Now, just really quick, I want to touch on minimum day pay. So, let's say you are on reserve or you're on call and you don't get used for that day. You are going to get paid a minimum of 445, okay? And that's flight hour pay. So 445 times 2889, which is your base pay. That's how much you're getting paid for that day even if you don't work. Now let's say you're flying one day and you only fly to San Francisco, which is like an hour flight. Your minimum duty day pay is still 4.45. Okay, beautiful people. I really hope that answered majority of your questions about flight attendant pay. I wanted to make it as simple and as basic as possible because like I said, it can get really confusing. And the video that I made before was just like a bunch of gibberish, a bunch of, a bunch of math. You guys wouldn't have known what I was talking about at all so I really wanted to break it down for you if you guys need any clarification or you have any questions further questions about um, 
about flight attendant pay, of course, like leave them down below. I always try to respond um, back to you guys' comments. Also, I really want to do a Q&A for you guys because you guys ask me a lot of questions and you guys ask me a lot of the same questions. So I'd really like to put it all in one video so that you guys can go to that video and have all of your questions answered. So if you guys have questions about anything, doesn't matter what it is, leave them down below and I'll pick the top. Um, questions and make a Q&A for you guys okay if you haven't already please subscribe I would love to see new faces and hit that bell so that you know when I post a new video okay I love you beautiful people bye bye <laughs> why why does one eyebrow always like so much larger than the other on this camera. Like, I promise in real life it doesn't look like this. I think the camera is adding 10 pounds to my one eyebrow.